Tensions flared in the Senate on Wednesday as contention erupted between the acting president of the Senate, Charles Sinclair, and leader of opposition business, Peter Bunting. Sinclair, very early in Bunting's presentation, raised his gavel several times, attempting to keep Bunting off a path the acting president claimed was out of the scope of the debate. Here's Celine Campbell with the details. A clash over what constitutes relevance shaped the agenda for the sitting of the Senate on Wednesday, when Leader of Opposition Business Senator Peter Bunting sparred with Deputy President for the Senate Charles Sinclair over an attempt to finish Mark Golding's budget presentation. Despite Golding concluding his speech on the outside of Gordon House on Tuesday, March 19, Bunting insists the speech should be included in Hansard Parliament's official records. So therefore, I'm going to use some of my time today to complete that section of the opposition leader's presentation, which he was unable to complete in the House. Sorry? I'm reading it for the Hansard. The Hansard is a verbatim record of what was said in the Parliament. But Bunting's presentation was soon interrupted by a swift interjection from the presiding Sinclair. Senator Bunting. Yeah? We are here debating what is entitled the, the bill, Consolidated Fund to the Service of the Year, ending on the 31st of March, 2025. <laughs> and Senator Bunting, what I've asked you to do, and I'm asking all senators on both sides today, that we are going to contain our speeches to what is relevant to what is before us. Don't tell me that it is not relevant. Don't tell me that. I determine what is relevant, Senator. No, Bunting. you don't. If you want to muzzle me, you're going to have to take me out of here. The deputy president in reprimanding Bunting drew from section 35, subsection 1 of the standing order, which states, Debate on any motion, bill, or amendment must be relevant to the motion, and a member shall confine his observation to the subject under discussion. In this case, it was the appropriations bill, or the proposed law, that authorizes the expenditure of government funds. However, Bunting was determined to continue his speech, insisting his points were within the scope of the debate. The Minister of Finance spent a great deal of time in his contributions, which I suppose you will now tell me is not relevant, yes. <laughs> spent a great deal of time defending the speaker oh, yes. and her refusal up to yesterday to table the Auditor General reports. On March 19, the government walked out on the opposition leader during his budget presentation, bringing the House to a halt because the sitting fell below the quorum of 16. Celine Campbell for CVM News.